All right, Nick and Knights, here we go. Third set time. This is Zero versus Yellow now. Zero has already proven himself in this group by tackling Yellow in a ZVZ. Defeated him on El Nino, I think was the map. So this is a different map, Fighting Spirit, but uh, I'd say definitely has a leg up as far as that goes. Z uh, Zero ZVZ recently has been pretty damn good. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. How many people watched all of today's games, all of my games today? Raise your hand. I don't believe you. Put your hand down. But yes, I do salute you if you watched all of my games today, including my very disrespectful first game, which was uh, kind of meant to annoy some people. But it worked fairly well for that. Okay, zero is down at the 8 o'clock position in beige. That means up at 10 o'clock in purple is yellow. Yellow is scouting in the wrong direction. Zero is scouting the right direction. So zero already going to have a bit of an advantage as far as that goes. But this is a four-player map. You're probably going to see these guys go for expansions soon. It's going to be very, very risky play, probably from one of the players. We will soon find out. But yes, uh, very beefy selection of games today. So thank you for watching them all, if you did watch them all. And my work is not done yet. I have to work on my round of eight preview. I have one-fourth of it done. It's different than anything else I've ever done, and I'm hoping it works out completely. It's uh, requiring me to use a skill I haven't used since college, basically, about a year. Okay, spawning pool coming up for... Uh, that wasn't yellow. That was zero spawning pool coming up. I think that was... Yeah, it was a nine pool build from zero, so being a very aggressive type of build. Extractor coming up for yellow, getting that extractor up, and now he's sending his overlord down to the right direction. Finally, it's going to be a little bit late and scouting zero, but uh, at least he'll get in there before the spire or something pops. A potential spire, we could have a zergling all in, of course. Since this is a nine pool build, I think zero is going to go for his lair pretty quickly. But so is Yellow. He's mining a lot more gas than Zero is at the moment. Okay, let's see. Zero inching in. He sees that there's nothing at the natural expansion, but he doesn't know that, Zero, that Yellow is up there yet. He's going to see that Overlord soon enough. So I'm just going to cue him in, and he's going to know that there's no base there. So that's two pieces of information he's going to have already. And now he knows he's a little bit safer with his 9-pool build. Of course, uh, this is pretty much the same build from Yellow, only earlier gas. Okay, let's see what Yellow does. Lair coming up right now for Zero. Lair coming up for Yellow. So this is a pretty mirrored build. It was just about who got the extractor first, basically, which was Yellow. And now the Zergling's popped, running up the map for Zero, and he's going to try to sneak into this base. Of course, Yellow will have to run to his choke, protect the choke, and make sure that Zero can't get in. Because if Zero gets into this base, he's going to have a very easy time drilling right through, picking off some drones, just running everywhere and causing havoc. Only a couple Zerglings out, actually, and this is being spotted from Zero, so Zero knows only a couple of Zerglings out in the area. Yellow does not have the information of how many Zerglings are coming his way, so he's a bit uh, disadvantaged as far as that goes. And Zero, curiously enough, falling back, although I think he could probably, with the right micro, drill into that troop of yellows that's sitting out there. But he does have his Overlord in. He's getting all the information he needs, and both these guys are going to have very similar Spire tech builds soon enough. Okay, some uh, Zerglings coming up. And now Yellow is protecting his choke. And hopefully Yellow will not fail like he did in the finals against Jadong by leaving one Zergling out of the hole and letting the other Zerg run right through that tiny little hole. And okay, let's see what Zero is up to. He's fanning his Zerglings out, just looking for anything sneaky, possibly looking for overlords or hidden Zerglings all over the place couple of zerglings at the choke to fend off against these uh, yellow zerglings that are running in some nice zergling micro from zero he was able to oh, almost able to surround those zerglings that could have been a very good advantage for him spire coming up for both players and i think they came up at about the exact same time oh man zero sneaking out picking off one zergling one zergling definitely counts when you have uh, pretty much a mirrored build like this 
Yeah, it looks like yellow is droning up a little bit, getting some extra drones to mine minerals so we can support this type of build. And okay, the spires are getting ready to pop. Pop! This is going to be a very important air battle, and uh, it could end up being a land battle too if Zero manages to break through this uh, through the choke. He might be able to do it if he focuses on that one circling at the far left. He might be able to drill through, but looks like he yeah he's falling back for the moment, making sure that Yellow can't get any harassment done. Yellow running in, trying to be annoying, but looks like Zero will be able to fight this back. They both have speed for those Zerglings, so uh, I don't think any Zergling is going to outrun another Zergling. Oh, Zero trying to get rid of that. Now he has Mutas out. He has those Mutas out so he can uh, fend off against any kind of Zergling attack. A base coming down for Zero, and it looks like Yellow has not really committed himself to that just yet. So he's coming down with Mutalis, going to find the Mutalis in the middle of the map. Being scouted a little bit, a little bit of an air battle from the from the guys here, but uh, Zero falling back has all of his circlings at the front, and he's going to fight off uh, Yellow because once Yellow knows that there's a base coming up for Zero, he's probably going to run in with his circlings and try to tackle it, take it down. Uh, I don't think he's going to try to take another base of his own, although he definitely could. Okay, yeah, the base will be up very, very soon for Zero. Once he gets that up, he'll have a major pumping advantage. Be able to pump uh, Mutas from two hatcheries as opposed to one. And Yellow's got to be suspicious now that something is going on. Since Zero is not attacking, uh, he's playing defensively. Yeah, he can pretty much assume that there's another structure that he's defending. Okay, that base will be up soon. Here comes Yellow. He's grouping up his Mutas, and now he's getting ready to roll out, I think. Playing very defensively, but still letting a Zergling through. Oh, the Zergling does not get into no scout on what's going on inside the base. If there's another hatchery in there, Zero does not know about it. But the base now coming down for Yellow. It's going to be a little bit behind Zero's, but at least he's putting that down. At least he's going to be able to compete with Zero as far as uh, the number of hatcheries go. It's very, very important. Zero flying around, still playing defensively. He's in a great position to move out now, and he knows it. He does not want to go through another round robin, another uh, three-set series, so that's why he's playing so defensively. Okay, Yellow coming down. Looks like Yellow is going to be aggressive, perhaps. He's floating around the middle and seeing if he wants to attack just yet, coming in with an initial Zergling, probably just a scout, basically. Coming in with that, he scouts that base is up and mining. And he knows that it's sooner because the creep's out there. So he's going to come down with his mutas, picking off an overlord. This is letting Zero know where the mutalists are, though. Does not finish off the overlord. Finally finishes it off. That's pretty much what happened in the finals against Jadong as well. He went for an overlord and didn't finish it off in the third game. So you could tell he was kind of nervous at that point doesn't play that great when he's nervous now yellow coming in i think he landed both of his scourge but now some scourge coming in oh a lot of scourge coming in from zero as well so both guys deciding to back off i think they're pretty much the same amount of ca casualties on either side and now zero's running up the map with some zerglings he's going to try to sneak those by a uh, big zergling wall at the front from yellow though and uh i don't think the zergling wall is not going to let the zerglings run in to get too much economic damage done I still see there's some uh, yellow blobs over there. It might have been a scourge or something from uh, yellow. Not yellow, but uh, <laughs> the yellow Zerg, who is zero. There's another overlord going down. Oh, running into some scourge. That could have been bad for yellow. Running into scourge. My Oh, two more scourge land on yellow. So that's definitely not good. Are you kidding me? More Scourge land on Yellow. So Yellow really down as far as Mutalist count goes. I think he might have just lost another Mutalist to Scourge. So Zero has been very sneaky, landing Scourge all over the place. And he might have just uh, taken the game with Scourge. He's keeping up a pretty healthy Mutalist count. And I think his Mutalist count is uh, much higher than Yellow's at the moment. But Yellow could get back in this game. He's got to put up. He's got to get some more Scourge out there and do some Scourge traps of his own. He's uh, hanging around his base, getting up a little bit later. Uh, extractor, second extractor. The second extractor is pretty much needed if you want to pump mutas consistently from two hatcheries. Okay, yellow getting that base up and running. 
coming out with some Scourge of his own. So yeah, Yellow is prepared with Scourge, but not as much Scourge as Zero. Oh, Zero has a much bigger army, you can tell at this point. Yellow has a Scourge of following his Mutalisp. Become the Mutalisp from Zero. He's deciding to end this. He's coming up being very aggressive. Coming up with this Scourge. He's going to try to do a trap. Oh, this is a trap. Coming in with Scourge a little bit late. Oh, some Scourge landing on Zero, but some nice micro from Zero to take those Scourge down. Scourge are going to be the deciding factor. A couple of Zerglings have snuck into the base, though, from Zero. Zero rolling in, taking out quite a few Mutas. Oh, this could be it for Yellow. Yellow forced to run all of his drones. GG. And finally, Group B has been decided. Pure and Zero. Move out. So say goodbye to Yellow, say goodbye to Hwasan. These two, Zero and Pure, are going to move out into the round of eight. And that's the end of the tiebreakers. See you guys soon for another vid.